الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحب التفلاة is very important for us during the holy month of Ramadan uh, to watch our tongues to watch our tongues watch what we say watch how we say it speak kind words to one another and do our best not to curse or speak ill and have vile speech and this is, in fact should be outside of the month of Ramadan too uh, in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu I believe it's the hadith of the hadith he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ma min shayin aftalu fi mizan al-mu'min yawm al-qiyamah min husn al-khulq wa inna allaha yubghidu al-fahish al-badi the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said there isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of the believer on the day of judgment than good manners and verily allah hates wicked and sinful speech. So what weighs heavier on the scale of the believ believers on the Day of Judgment? Huh? Uh, hmm? Uh, what? Speech. No? Yeah. What did I just say? Ah, make sure we're listening. Good manners. Good manners, good. So, There isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of the believer then good manners min husn al khulq meaning good manners husn meaning good khulq refers to your manners and your demeanor and so forth okay and verily Allah hates wicked and sinful speech showing us that Allah hates that we curse hates that we speak ill about people in every in all the various ways that we can do it through backbiting and just being uh, bad in the many ways that we can with our tongue. And the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned that speaking ill with the tongue is one of the ways to get thrown on your face in the hellfire. What is one of the ways you can get thrown on your face in the hellfire? Okay, speaking bad from your tongue. Good. Mumtaz. Tariq. Getting to the hadith. And this hadith here has to do with the importance of not lying and especially during the month of Ramadan. So Ramadan especially because there are awqat uh, awqat al-fadila or fada'il there are awqat there are times in which there is your ibadah is greater and there are places makan or amakin there are places in which your ibadah is greater. One of the places which your ibadah is greater is when? Is where, I mean? In the Haram, or in Mecca and Medina. So in Mecca and Medina, your deeds are greater, and your sin is greater if you do sins, in Mecca and Medina. Because those are a Meccan, those are prized place, blessed places. Likewise, in Islam, we have blessed times. Ramadan is one of the best, is one of the blessed times in uh, Islam. So when we reach the holy month of Ramadan and we fast and do righteous deeds, that is during a blessed time. So during that time, we should be cautious of our tongue and cautious of the deeds that we do and try to strive to do righteous deeds. عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من لم يدع قول زور وعمل به وجهل فليس لله حاجة في أن يدع طعامه وشرابه رواه بخاري وأبو داود إن الحديث of أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Whoever does not leave off lying and acting upon those lies and, and, and acting upon evil 
and ignorance, then Allah is not in need of their fat, their leaving off food and drink. Letting us know that food and drink is not the only thing we abstain from when we fast. That we also abstain from doing wickedness. And we abstain from looking at the Muharram, Muharramat. And we abstain from speaking about the Muharramat and from uh, cursing and lying and backbiting and using our tongue in vicious ways. And in the hadith in which the Prophet وسلم, was going by some graves and he said, in the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, he was walking by some graves and he pointed to those graves he said verily they're being punished and they're not being punished for something kabir, something big something that the people think is big as for one of them he didn't clean himself when he went to the bathroom properly so maybe he urinated and got it on his clothes and as for the other one is they used to carry tails in order to spread wickedness in the community so again, that's the tongue. And it shows us that speaking sinfully and, and speaking ill and in evil ways, uh, especially with namima, with backbiting, riba and namima, that these sins are sins that can get you punished in the grave. They're one of the reasons a person gets punished in the grave. What is one of the reasons that a person gets punished in the grave? Nam backbiting, namima and namima. Namima is mentioned in the hadith in that they and they define the ulama some of them they say that Namima is referring to carrying tales you know spreading tales throughout the community uh, in order to spread wickedness so that means this person has the intention to spread evil they don't even have a good intention they want to spread evil and, and spread evil news around the community so that way it it causes more controversy and more fitna. So, the shahid being is being careful during Ramadan and outside of Ramadan with our tongue, but especially Ramadan because it is one of the beneficial times.